Today I will show you how to use UDP-BD, which is a new protocol specifically designed for PlayStation 2. There will be two downloads, first one is from GitHub, the second one is from Mediafire, I will have the link in the description. Let's wait for these to finish downloading. Once they're finished downloading, let's make sure to keep them. And then we can close this window. Now we need to plug in our flash drive. This will be used to transfer OPL from our PC to the PlayStation. So just go ahead and open the zip folder, find the OPL file, copy it. This flash drive will need to be in FAT32 format. I'm going to create a OPL folder and put it right in there. Then we can eject our flash drive. Now I'm going to type Windows key and R and then type in control to go to the control panel. I'm going to go to hardware and sound, go into power options. I'm going to set the computer to not go to sleep. I'm also going to set it to stay on if I shut the lid. And close out of that. Now we're ready to go into the disk management tab by typing disk mgmt.msc. I'm going to find our C drive and shrink that. I'm going to shrink mine to 32 gigs. Now we got an unformat partition. We're just going to choose new simple volume and click next a few times. Now it did format this as NTFS, which we need to f uh, switch to XFAT. So I'm going to open disk part. We're going to type list volume. And then we're going to select the proper volume. For In my case, it's volume 1. Now we're going to type format FS equals XFAT and then override. Once that's finished, we can close out of disk part and disk management. Now we're going to open the new drive we just made. And then we're going to create a new folder with all capital DVD. Now we can go into that and drag our game ISO into that folder. And with the XFAT format, you can transfer games over 4 gigabytes. So you don't have to split any of your ISOs. Now you need to decide if you want to use the direct attach method or router method. I would recommend the direct attach method as that ensures that you have full throughput. If you decide to do the direct attach you will need to go back into the control panel, go to network and internet, network and sharing center, change adapter settings, find your ethernet adapter, go to properties, I'm gonna go to IPv4 properties, and we're gonna assign it a static IP. It needs to be in the dot one domain, so dot one, and then it can be anywhere from 11 to 255. I'm gonna choose 42. Then we're gonna choose a subnet mask, which should autofill. Then we can OK apply. Alright, now we're going to find the UPD BD server we just downloaded. We're going to go to uh, and create a shortcut for it. Now, in the shortcut, under the target, we're going to add a space, double backslash, dot backslash, and then our drive letter. In this case, it's D colon. Then we're going to go to advanced and check run as admin. Apply OK. And then we can start up the server. Alright, now uh, make sure to give it permission from the firewall. 
then we're going to swap over to the PlayStation 2. Alright, make sure your thumb, uh, flash drive is plugged in, then go to Launch Elf. Now we're going to go into our flash drive and copy the OPL folder. And then we're going to paste it into our memory card. Once it is done copying over, make sure to power your PlayStation 2 down and unplug the, mem the flash drive as UDP BD will not work if you have a flash drive plugged into your PlayStation. Now we're going to go into Free Macboot Configurator. And we're going to go to Configure OSD Options. Then we're going to go to an open slot and then name it OPL. And then hit under path, hit square to set it to either memory card one or two. And then find your OPL L file. Now I can return and then save to MC. Once that's saved, we need to restart. And then we can launch OPL. Once we're in OPL, we need to change a few settings. Under BDM Start Mode, we want that on Auto. And under Default Menu, we want uh, BDM. And we can save those changes. And unfortunately, one quirk of this server is that you'll need to restart OPL sometimes multiple times to get it to load the first time. So we're just going to exit and relaunch. Just go back into OPL. And then your game should show up. This is what we'll, it will look like from the PC. This is sped up, of course. If you need help, post a comment below. Thank you for watching.